My name is Vanessa Hill, I'm a science educator and we're here today speaking with a bunch of engineers about what it's like to be an engineer but also how we can inspire more women and girls to pursue engineering. My name is Pasha McAllister, I'm an engineer with Chevron. My name is Simmel and I work for the National Academy of Engineering um, managing a program that aims to get girls more interested in engineering. I'm Emma, I'm a junior in high school and I'm an Engineer Girl Ambassador, a uh, part of Simmel's program. Well, I guess through this journey that you've taken and being interested in engineering, was there a certain role model that you had? My mom was the one who first told me that I should probably look into engineering. I was very young then. But since then, uh, I've taken several uh, Project Lead the Way classes throughout my school district. And all the teachers have always been very, very supportive and always told me to pursue this career. I probably wouldn't have made it through all of my engineering classes without that kind of support from my teachers. So they served as role models for me in a lot of ways of being very supportive and helpful and of course they were amazing, right? They had these amazing brains and had done this amazing stuff and so I wanted to be like them. I feel like you have to have a number of different people to motivate you simply because we are so dynamic, right? Whether you're man or woman or whatever. There's different parts of your life at different times where you need support and the confidence to do the engineering can be affected or helped by those different parts of your life. When I first joined Chevron, there were a number of female engineers and all of them were role models. Chevron is perhaps right now unique in that we address diversity in the workplace across multiple fields and opportunities. From 2013 to 2018, $400 million have been invested into the community to affect almost uh, three quarters of a million people. You know, so that's parents, teachers, students, professionals, to get them invested and get them involved in STEM fields. So I want to put to all of you that you're all role models to people <laughs> in your communities. And why is this kind of outreach work important to you? I think it's really important to help girls understand that there's all these, this opportunity and you wouldn't be doing it alone. There's so many other people that would be going along with you. I'm interested in you as an 11th grader, when you're thinking about where you might like to work when you graduate, what kinds of things do you look for? Well, support is always really important to me. I always like to feel like um, I'm supported and welcome wherever I, I am working or participating in an activity or anything. But I also want to work on something that will be like groundbreaking and like important almost and will have some effect on people's lives. That's always something that I've wanted to do. If you stick with the tools that engineering provides, it can take you anywhere. And there's a reason why companies are interested in diversity because more diverse engineers mean better products. Diversity is more than just male, female. There's so much diversity that needs to go into what we're creating because it's going to be used by the whole world. It's so important that we have more girls and more representation in, in engineering, just for the economic stability of the country, you know, not just because we want more girls in these programs, but because they will provide something that we're not getting when we don't have diverse thinking in engineering.